Hey guys, this is Dot Too Fast here, and uh, in uh, in my last video, I showed you how to make a Cat5 Ethernet cable, and in this video, I will show you the uh, Ethernet cable tester I use uh, after you make the cable, or if you run into a problem with a, an existing Cat5 cable that's in use and it's not working, you can check it to find out if it's good. Uh, this one I have is made by Hobbs. Uh, there are many different brands. This is called a Hobbs Net Finder. And what you will typically get uh, in this type of tester is you'll get a, a sending device and a receiving device. Now the receiving device don't need any batteries. That's a cool thing about it. Uh, sending device uses a 9 volt battery. Okay. And there's, there's going to be um, two Ethernet RJ45 ports one for transmit, one for receive, so you can test it locally. And this device is used for testing a, uh, a cable that's already um, in place. Um, could be in a different room uh, or different floor. Uh, so it's actually at a remote location. So uh, the, the function will differ a little bit depending on which one you get, but this one I have has a little table at the bottom that tells you what each of the uh, button is uh, for. You have the off, a and B plus the one two three so if I switch it on A uh, one A one here tells you it's a forward testing and A two is a pause okay and you'll notice that the LED will start scrolling for the transmit so once you turn it on it will actually transmit uh, a voltage out on each pin and when you connect the cable back to the receive, the corresponding uh, receive line will light up also. All right. So I have a uh, straight through cable here, as you can see. I'm going to plug one end over here, another end over here. So the straight through cable. And you'll see that it'll scroll through pin 1 to 8 as it should. Right, ground is not connected. That's the last one. All right, if you pause it and pause right in the middle of the testing, it'll, it'll stop right there. And number three is actually a test in reverse. Go backwards. All right, go back to one. So let's take this receive out. All right. And let's pretend that this cable is already installed and is at a distance from this sending unit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this in. And hopefully you can see. You see that the remote device here, this uh, remote testing device, will also scroll from top to bottom because it's straight through. Pin 1 to 1, 2 to 2, 3 to 3. Okay, so that tells you that it's a straight through cable and it works. Now, earlier in my last video, I did the uh, crossover cable. So, let's plug in my crossover. And you'll see that, let's start over again. Pin 1 goes to 3, pin 2 goes to 6. Actually, that's why I put a little sticky thing here for me. That's my own reference. Because if it's crossover, uh, 1 to 3, 2 to 6, pin 3 to 1, pin 4 to 4, so on and so forth. And same thing on here. Okay. Alright, so let's disconnect this and I'll show you on the remote testing jig here. Same thing. You'll get the start at pin 3. On this device, pin three, six, one, four, five, two, seven, eight. Okay. It's handy to have. Um, you can verify to make sure that it is it is working. Uh, the cable is made properly, and again, it doesn't cost a lot of money. There are different uh, variations of this on the market, uh, but most of them will do the simple test: uh, transmit and receive. So anyways, uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment, let me know. And if you like the video, uh, subscribe, alright? Thank you.